One of my viewers just brought to my attention that the video I just did for Carolina, whose base I'm standing in front of, there was no audio. Um, apparently my mic was muted, so I'm going to go over this again, and I don't mind. So, first of all, Carolina is somebody that I met. She visited my YouTube page, which is listed below, DCUO Godflame. Um, and she asked me if I could showcase her base. Um, and I told her I absolutely have no problem doing that because I like showcasing bases if people ask. Um, but keep in mind, when I do um, showcase a base, I'm going to give my personal opinion about the base, of what I think about it, and people are aware of that. That's why they ask me. They want me to give them honest feedback, and that's what I do. I don't sugarcoat anything when I'm doing something. So we're going to step inside, take a look at her base. Um, again, I already seen it because I, I did the video and I didn't realize that my mic was muted. But I'm gonna go in. But you'll never know if I went in or not because I give this on authentic, you know, reading. But I'll just go over the same thing that I, I looked at. But anyway, here we go. We're entering Car Carolina's base, as you can see, it's in Metropolis. Give you a view. So if you want to fly down, you don't know exactly how to get here. It's in this area here. Don't worry about the names flashing up on my screen. These are people signing on and off, whatever. It's all good. Um, so anyway, she's in Metropolis. She's in this area, and her base is called XOXO. Let's go inside. This low screen is a killer. Alright, so now we're inside Carolina's base. Um, looking over here, we see that she has, oh, I love it, the fireplace. Um, and this is obviously um, a winter wonderland type theme, um, Christmassy uh, feel to it. As you can see, she has the snow covering the entire ceiling in this portion of the uh, base. I love it. Absolutely love that. We're going to come back. I just want to show you that the snow is actually on the entire ceiling she did a great job she put a lot of effort into this and she has snow on the ground the entire ground on the lower level of the base that she's in okay so coming back over here she has a fireplace on the wall uh, with her Christmas lights going really nice she's getting into that season she's got some snow piles going on here with the construct uh, reindeer and she has a couple of sleighs that are floating is this following me is it just doing that I never noticed that the first time. Oh yeah, it follows you when you move. That's kind of weird. It turns when you turn. But anyway, yeah, so um, she has the slaves going on with Santa over here. One of the things I do love about this base um, is she has windows. You'll notice she has windows throughout this entire section and of her base. This kind of gives me a feel of your being inside of a snow globe. You know how like when you you pick up a snow globe, and here's one for example. Inside of a snow globe you have the snow, you have the falling snow inside of it. And it's like, you know, obviously you're inside and things are outside. So like with all the windows, it gives me that feel that you're inside a living snow globe. She did a great job, great concept. This is what I think. I don't know if she did it that way, but this is my concept of what I, you know, I believe. Um, she got the icicles hanging down in the center here which is really nice construct reindeers going on jump it looks like he's jumping over the snow drift yep that's what he's doing that's what they're all doing really um so this is really nice here I'm gonna take a walk down through here um uh, but first let's go over here so she has um some snow globes going on she got these from um one of the events i forget which event was it last year's christmas event i can't remember but just so you guys know the new Christmas event is coming out December 3rd. That's what I read. That's what I saw. So if you're trying to get some Christmas items, you, there's a new event. The Christmas event will start on December 3rd. Okay, let's get back. So um, if anybody know where she got this or Carolina, if you're watching the video, uh, could you please comment and let me know where you got this? Um, was it the Christmas event? Did it fall from read whatever I know it says happy holidays but I love this I want to get this one this is the only one that I like um, for me I'm not saying what you have I, I like this one I want to get it I could never find it so I want to get that if you could tell me where you got that that'd be great so now we're gonna go up in here 
which is look like a warm room like you know to be warm or something um, see again she has the windows here um, is this a rug or is that the floor I can't really tell oh I didn't even notice this window right here but she got a window see that's what I told you is windows here now this is where I get confused now you walk in here and like this motherfucker is on fire it's like what the fuck is going on over here you got lava falling everywhere um, you got the brazier going um, I don't know it's like I don't know what this room represents or where her thought process was going but one of the things that stood out to me was like it's falling into a pool and like is this a sacrifice thing what's what what's going on with this this is like kind of weird I, I I don't I don't get that but I love your idea is to what the fuck is this okay you don't want to turn a corner and like this thing is just staring you in the face but it's a light but um okay that's kind of weird um I don't know what's going on in here but again see how she has a snow falling all over the place it's great now all that stuff that I was talking I'm, I'm saying you're probably looking behind me so don't look behind me yet so let me just make my body bigger yet first so all that stuff that I was talking I was like oh yeah I don't you know I don't get the concept of this blah blah what, what's going on here I'm wondering now if it's if you come here this is my 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 perception cold meets you know changing of the of the season to hot because this is a beach theme now so I, I don't know it's like that's maybe that's what that is I, I don't know if that's her concept or that's what she was thinking or maybe it's nothing but I like how she went from it's cold to now it's hot you know what I mean so she got a her thing is like a season so here we go with the portal as you can see it's underwater I have this portal I love this portal the only thing that I said that they could have did with this portal okay yeah you got the corals under there they should have like fish swimming by or something you know to make it more realistic um, but I love that portal because I have it so again she has like the the beach huts um, these are like bars you know that you see on the beach she got sand all over the ground if anybody knows where she got this sand could you please tell me I'm wondering if it was the spring event but I didn't see anything for sand because I would have got this I like it and then she has a like, fire pit here um, Oh yeah, her little cat running around. She got a dog in here somewhere too. Um, let's continue to go around. She's got a bank here. Um, little monitors. That's cool. Oh, this thing here. If anybody... Oh my god, this cat. If anybody knows where she got this from, or if you can tell me, Carolina, um, that'd be great. I want this. Because I like anything with animation on it. It's cool. I just want this. So let's continue over here this is like I guess it's like a um, you know you get your little drinks you had your little barbecue you sat by the fire oh ha 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 la 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 then you come over here you want to relax this is nice how she did this this is a relaxing area you know you you sit down you watch a couple of things on TV just use your imagination you watch a couple of things on TV you got the big screens going on you're watching the game you're watching whatever you come relax by the fire um, sit on the couch have a couple of drinks still like the tropical theme because you got the bamboo poles really nice great job um, over here I I see this as like the it's a sunset coming through even though these are cathedral windows it's a sunset coming through here um, it, it gives a nice little ambiance right here love how she didn't crowd this area because you know it's like you know this is a party area you know she has her guests over here they all mingle over here the sunsets coming through you know whatever she has like a couple little bar stools here you know and you know while they're sitting here chit chatting holding their drinks there's some TV screens up there you can watch them you can chill love how you did that again this is my perce my um, perception of how you did it this may not be how you did it so now I'm gonna go upstairs I'm gonna go upstairs before I go downstairs um, oh okay um, this I talked about in the last video but you guys didn't hear me because it was muted I love these windows because these windows re remind me I'm gonna backtrack for a little bit just get off subject 
Um, if you've ever been on Royal Caribbean, the cruise line, and you've been on Harmony of the Seas, if you go to the Central Park area where they have the the, the cabins, because they have a Central Park area, they have a boardwalk area, and they have whatever. It's a huge boat. It holds over 6,000 people. Never traveled on the cruise. You should get on that boat. But anyway, they have these windows in their um, their their cabins. Like outside their cabins in the Central Park area. These are those windows. I love them because what they do, what they look old, but you know, obviously the boat is new, but they give it that antique look. But it's just something about these windows. I love those. I don't have a place to put them yet uh, in my bases, but I'm going to find a place because I love these windows for some reason. And I also love this portal too. This window, I mean. I love this window. It actually matches what I got on. Yeah. Um, so then, let's see. Oh, love this room. It's the Blood Moon room win uh, windows. I love it. So, I she did this, you know, she's chilling. It's been a hard day. You know, um, the sun is already set. Hence, look at the Blood Moon. It's like the same color, almost. Use your imagination here. You know, now she wants to chill. She wants to chill with her significant other. They come up here. They're, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, this is what I do every time I come to somebody's base. I don't care who you are. If I do a tour, oh no. If I do a tour, oh no. Where is that? Oh, when I do a tour, I lay down in everybody's bed. I don't care whose bed it is. I lay down. That that lets you know Flame was here. So anyway, um, love how she did that. Did that with this. Um, love how the the ambiance lighting is on the bed. You know, the Blood Moon windows are everywhere. You must have spent a grip for these because these Blood Moon windows are expensive as hell. And I noticed you had a lot throughout your place. Um, here's another little bed over here. I um, guess if you have guests or to my snoring, get the fuck out of here, go sit over there. I'm not going to press this because you will be taken to the Hall of Doom. Um, but I love this. If you could please tell me where you got this from, I want to get this too. I love it. I just love that. Um, I'm not really looking at the group chat because I was in group with these people who was doing spam. They're now arguing about stuff. I don't know. Who cares? So, I haven't seen Superdog or whatever his name is, um, yet, or did I? I saw him in the other video, but glad he's not up here because he's destructive. When he sneezes, he blow up everything. So anyway, um, don't know what this is. Um, well, I know what this is. This is a repair thing. But, like, I don't know the concept of these jars. I know things are in them, but like they're random here. Maybe it's a space saver, or maybe I don't know, just to add coloring, or I don't know, abstract. I don't know why she did that, but it, it works for her. Love this um, starry field ceiling. If you've never seen that before, here it is. You know, again, you know, the moonlight's coming through. It's starry. You know what I mean? I got the tree in the center of the room. It's being protected by these, um, I guess, um, protection lights. That's what I'm going to call it. Or ambiance lighting. These crystals, I mean. Um, but the tree is um, dropping leaves. Beautiful. Love how she did that. Great job. So we're going to go down. Okay, there's Wonder Dog. Like, we're going to walk by him slow because he's destructive. And I hope he doesn't blow up anything we're trying to look at. Because then we have to wait for it to come back. Don't follow me, dog. Oh my god, don't follow me, dog. Here we go. Watch him. Great. Okay, just stay there. Alright, so again, we're going to go downstairs now. Oh my god, this dog is following me. So we're going to go down. Let me, let me go faster so he don't come. Let me see. Where'd he go? Oh yeah, he went back upstairs. Alright, so uh, we're going to float up a little bit because this is what I want to talk about here. You're probably, you're probably like, what do you want to talk about? There's posters. No, they're not just posters. If you have a base and you have so many posters, hang them up. And see how she hung these? Like, they're right on top of each other. Um, they don't look too crowded, whatever. But you see what she did? Everybody that has a Lee call understands what she did. She's capturing all her prestige points for all these posters by putting them out. People don't understand that when you have a league and you have a league hall, your league gets prestige points, which allows your league um, bu uh, owner to buff up your league every time that they go into the league hall and go to the little machine. Um, 
So each member in a league should be putting things out on their base so that um, the prestige points would apply to the league and whatever. So, for example, and I know we're off subject, but I just want to show people because I love talking about this because people don't understand it. So when you go to your league, right, management, see right in the top left right hand corner, it says 381,627. That's what we're waiting to put into our, oh yeah, you can read that right there. See, we do shit in my league. I'll read it to you. $50 PSN slash Slim card awarded to best holiday theme base, entire base, including tune. It's going to be awarded um, December 18th, 2020. Um, that's what we do in our league. We're giving a $50 card for the base, including um, all three floors, because you can't have a single floor, because that's, that's, come on, we're not doing that. You have to have a three-story base, and it also includes your tune. But anyway, that's off subject. So the 381,000 points, we're going to actually buff up our league this week um, because we make sure that all our members have at least 100 to 200 items out, which, you know, you can hold more than that. Um, and then they're actually contributing prestige to the league. Um, so because we're not buffing people up if you're not doing it, if you don't add our league to your base, um, you will not be here because, you know, we're not going to buff up your character and you act like you can't even... A decorate or at least put your stuff out because you can put it out at, you know on the floor but anyway going on because Carolina's like you're in my base motherfucker I want to talk about something else I'm gonna hit cancel cuz I'm doing the base um, so now we're downstairs let me just zoom out a bit all right so she got the Aquaman and Mera going on love it oh I love this thing too I got this the, oh so that's what the water's for okay Okay, I get it, because I was about to ask that next question. It's like, why is there water all over the floor? But okay, yeah, I get it now. So yeah, he survives in water, so that's why. Okay, love how she did this, though. Really great job. Um, then she has all the eye Geminis. She got, it seems like she got every single color. Great. It's a gong here. Moon window in the back. I don't want to break her stuff, but did see it. It's back there. Moon window in the back. Um... Oh, Atlanta's theme. So she's here. Rosie, why aren't you here? You're on, you're commenting. Why aren't you in your base? So that's Rosie in the ba in the comments right there, Rosie Kitten. Um, this is her base that I'm showcasing right now. Um, all right, so she just told me that this is the Atlanta's theme. See, I didn't know. So that's why I like to have people here. Um, so that way they can explain their base as we're going on because again, I just go by my my perception of what I see. But she did just say it's an Atlantis theme. So she have a sparring target down here. This is cool. I think every base should have one because some people don't like to go to the Hall of Doom to do the sparring target. I think if you have a base, at least get that. Oh, she's at this family's party. She can't be there. Oh, uh, it's it's okay. Well, see, I was joking. I was just joking. But um, next time you have a base, you're gonna be here because I want I want to get your um, I want to get your commentary on your base. But it's fine. Don't worry about it. So, like I was saying, is every base should have a sparring target because, like, when you go down to the Hall of Doom, you might not want people to see what you're doing, how you're doing it, whatever. So if you if you can get a base and you can get a sparring target, just get it. I, I you know even if you don't use it, just always have one. And plus the animation is like always good too. I like to do this because like I have the lasso, I be pulling it. I be pulling it around like a dog. It's like come back over here, boy. Let's go. Oh. You said no? I said get over here. And then it just follows you with the lasso. Until, you know, it's like five seconds or so. Then he tries to run. Then you go, nope. Come back here. Oh, he's not going to come to the wall. But anyway, you get the point. So now, um, this was Rosie Kitten's base. Um, she has a very beautiful base. I love it. Um, love how she did the posters. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like a poster person. so And I'm about prestige too. And I can tell that she's about prestige. But she is very creative. I will give you that. Definitely give you that. Very creative. I'm glad I, you asked me to come. Oh, I didn't even see the cabinet up here. But yeah, I'm glad that you asked me to tour your base. It was a pleasure to tour your base. And if you have another base or you know anybody that wants their base toured, just have them add me. But remember, they have to add me to their base because I cannot come if I'm not added to their base or if I don't know their name. So just have them hit me up on my YouTube page. 
which as you can see below it's DCUO Godflame um, or you can hit me up on PS4 at the Godflame 2019 one word and my league is Gods of Domination we are villains on DCUO so if you have any other questions um, I ask that you leave comments you can leave negative comments if you want to because the reason I say that because there's always a hater and you know negative comments don't bother me um, if you don't like what I did or you think it's shabby or you think it's whatever whatever okay that's your opinion because I'm gonna do it for the person who asked me to do it because that's what people think they think by you know doing things like that um, it's gonna hurt you or whatever you're gonna stop I'm not because I feature a lot of bases and every time I feature them people love them that's why they asked me to do it so you can leave a negative comment if you want it doesn't bother me but Ro oh Rosie thank you no you're welcome I told you I was going to do it. I'm sorry I didn't get to it um, sooner, but I didn't have access to your base. Um, but I obviously do now. But I don't mind doing it. Like I said, if you get another base or you know somebody who wants um, to have their base featured, just let me know. Have them hit me up on my YouTube page, and I'll do it for them. But this is going to conclude our visit to um, XOXO, um, and it's Carolina's base. She's known as Rosie Kitten, as you can see in the comments below on YouTube. Hit her page up. Um, tell her what you thought um, hit my page up subscribe like comment and like I said if you need anything or you want me to feature you let me know if I'll do it I don't charge people to do it I love doing stuff like this so and you know I like to get ideas myself I'm not gonna lie to you I saw a lot of things in Rosie's base that I like um, that I plan on stealing and this is one right here I'll go back over them. I'm taking that Rosie um, where's the other one I'm um, taking this. Oh, wait, not this. I'm taking this. And what was that other thing? I can't remember what the other thing was. See, that's why I'm glad I do videos because I actually said it in the video and somebody is going to comment be like, oh, you said this thing. I can't remember. It's the third thing. I, oh, here it is. This. I want this. I don't know where you get this from, but I want it. But um, anyway, Rosie, you enjoy your family. Um, and you are very very welcome and as I said this concludes our video and if you have any questions for me hit me up if not it's fine too but I'll talk to you later